hey y'all how y'all doing how you doing don't don't mind this messy hair don't you mind it well we have some new things in the garden going on we have some things that need to be clipped we have some things that have gotten sick and we have some things that have been growing so let's check it out come check it out come check it out so let me show you guys some of the things that have been going on in the garden this is my honeysickle I was worried about her honeysucker honeysickle yeah 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 but I was worried about her because all the leaves had fell off and I don't know what was going on because uh she's from a cutting I found her in the wild and y'all I had a hard time ordering her oh you will realize people will scam the hell out of you off of simple damn plants and seeds but she's doing good I see some babies growing and now I got another product I'm going to show you guys that I got. You probably see it there at the bottom. That is some root stimulator, root growth. Mm -hmm. So I added a little root growth to her. And she got little babies coming, y'all. Let's see. There she go. She got some little babies coming. I have some things I got to get to you guys to do my videos a lot better. A lot better. I had to go get some products because here in Zone 7B in the Carolinas, we had a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain. A lot of things have grown, but some things got a little disease on them. Some disease on them and all that rain just messed me up. But you guys, I want to show you guys my, my tomato plant right here. She's getting big. Look how big she has gotten. Yes, I don't even know if I saved the name of what she was. No, that's what she, this plant is. This plant is uh, hot peppers, but hot peppers been growing in. It's got a little baby right there, a little bitty baby. Y'all, I have to get something. I have to get a good camera so I can zoom in and show you guys, and it can focus. Yes. It's that time. It's that time. The rain messed a lot of my greens up. Uh, snails was eating my stuff up. I happened to come out in the morning, early in the morning, and seen that snails had ate me up. My kale got all mangled up. I'm trying to think if I should just pull her up or leave her be because they look like they're crawling. So, you know, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I got to spray on them to try to save the remaining. But I had a terrible rain, rain for several days. The snails were all in here. And I'm going to show you the products that I used. Here are the products that I used. I picked them up from Walmart. One helps with fungus, mildew, black spots. Y'all, my phone is just not focusing today. And then I got something else to help with the bugs. You know, the first time I had got the powder, this time I'm trying the spray. So I'm going to see how that goes. And I have my okra coming in. Got some okra coming in. Got some real good okra. As you can see, the caterpillars have been eating some things up. But the okra, she is growing. My squash is holding on. Um, another, another thing I had to do was I had to plant some more cucumbers in my cage because something ate up all of my cucumbers. It's the only one standing left. So I planted some more. So as you can see, they are growing up already. They're coming on up already. So I'm going to give it a little time. And this is another green pepper. This is a green pepper. She's holding on. She has some babies coming in. She really does. She has some babies coming in. This plant, I know everybody's probably wondering, what in the world is that? But this is something for the hummingbirds. Yeah, sure, I didn't found the love for the hummingbirds. Look how the snails. 
and the rain damaged my poor collard greens. But hopefully I got some more growing up. So that'll be good. My mustards, I don't know. Another thing you have to watch out for, for my beginner gardeners, is them daggone spiders. Snails and spiders. So yeah, go ahead. Before you get too comfortable with stuff growing up and get you some some spray because something was going on here so I had to spray her down maybe she'll get better and produce me some squash because they're pretty good even these here all that rain all that rain all that rain tore it up I did pick up some new things. I got a watermelon plant. That's a watermelon. And I have a cute, um, no, not watermelon. This one is, I mean, this is watermelon. This one's watermelon. And this one is cucumbers. And I have some more cucumbers growing up here. Look at that beautiful broccoli, you guys. But something was just eating my leaves up. Just eating my leaves up. It's eating my leaves up. I've been feeding the birds, y'all. They've been everywhere. Here's another pepper. Another pepper and some more peppers. So, we'll see. I'm going to try to get my cucumbers to grow up straight. Here's some more okra and some string beans. And this is my other tomato plant. My little Cherokee tomato plant. Yup. They had got a little sick and infected from all this rain. But mama's taking care of it. I'm taking care. Well, I hope you guys like what you see so far. And wish me luck. Wish me luck. Oh, look. The little birds love me, you guys. I'm always making them some food. Oh, did I show you guys my onions? My onions are growing in. Oh, yes. Onions are growing in. Now, these are my strawberries. I found out my husband, he was picking them too soon. And then all of this rain um, damaged them a little bit. And then I had them in a bad spot, a bad situation. So maybe I can still save the remaining ones I have. I have to find something to put them on. Then I have in here, I have some mullet in here, you guys. There's nothing growing up yet. And I got these nice um, garden containers. I got them from I got them from uh, Amazon.com. So mullet is good for breathing and asthma, breathing problems. My mullet. And then I have sage. You know, that helps keep, um, take out negative energy. I have been looking for some sage. Not sage. <laughs> I've been looking for some rosemary. I'm going to show you guys my lavender, and I'll tell you how I've been trying to take care of them, too. So, my strawberries have this little rough-looking patch. So, I'm going to prune it back some. I don't know what this is, y'all. I don't know if that's part of strawberries or not. I don't know. That's why I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It looked like that damn plant I got over there I bought from um for the book for the butterflies, but we'll see after a while, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and prune her back. And you guys, I would show y'all how to do it. I done lost my stand to film with, so I have to buy another one of those. So I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Who you guys look how bad I'm sweating in that garden. This is why I had to get braids. But I wanted to show you guys how good the strawberries look when you prune them back and cut them back. And I wanted to introduce you guys to my lavender. They look so much better. They're looking healthy. They'll be able to breathe. Because one thing, just like us, they need their space. They need some air room, you know. So I pruned them back. I pruned them back. Oops, I did forget one. See little stuff like this. Go ahead and get that off. They are runners. They will grow more. You go ahead and clip some of that dead stuff off. 
your plant won't have to work so hard. This is my purple corn, corn flower. I um, had one last year, but y'all, she did not make it through. So we're trying again. And here's the other strawberry, but so far, y'all, they look good. They are looking great. And let me introduce you guys. My lavender, she's doing great. But I do notice, you guys, I'm going to have to prune her, cut her back. I think I might have to spray some of the fungus stuff on her just to be on the safe side. So let's see. Oh, I think it might be best for me to cut her back. But I'm going to do some research tonight on some more care on this lavender and if anybody was wondering i got this lavender from amazon they deliver it deliver it with your ebt card you can use your ebt card to get lavender plants that's ebt approved and you can buy food so that was just something to let you guys know it looks like it's about to rain which i hope not that's the last thing i need but um, subscribe, thumbs up, and thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm going in. It's hot.